What is happening YouTube? Thanks for tuning back into the channel today right here with the Rust Belt Mechanic. Now I know a couple of weeks ago I did on a Nifty Tools episode, I showed you guys a set of chassis ears from Steelman Pro. It was their newer Bluetooth version and I ended up checking that one out, used it a couple of times and decided I really didn't like it because of reasons I'll go into later in the video. But today we're gonna be checking out the kit I ended up getting for the shop here. It's the Steelman 60635 wireless chassis ear system. So we're gonna go in depth with this one, show you how it works and show you how well it works as well. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Like I said, a couple of weeks ago, I showed you guys on the Nifty Tools video about this Steelman Bluetooth chassis ear setup. It's newer-ish to the market, and I had a chance to check it out. It ended up being definitely not for me. Uh, we ended up trying it on a couple of vehicles, worked once or twice, but then we started having quite a few issues. Where that one fell short is the Bluetooth connectivity. Now in theory, that system should have worked absolutely fantastic, had a lot less wires and things to be able to go wrong and get caught on the vehicles. But at the same time, you also left a whole lot more room for error when it comes to the app, the charging of the system, and not using any external batteries that you guys can change out. So the thing went dead pretty quick. And then after using it a couple of times, we ended up losing connectivity. The Bluetooth on that one would drop after about five to 10 seconds of being connected. And then we realized that the app needed updated, updated the app, and then it still wouldn't connect right. So they were gonna have to send it in for repair. So it ended up just causing a whole lot more problems with what it was used for. On top of that, it costs about $150 more than this set and you guys have to have an Android based tablet or a Windows based tablet or PC to be able to use it with. So there's an extra expense on top of that one. Whereas this amazing set right here is all contained into its one packaged unit, four different channels to it. It's going to be cheaper. It's going to be more dedicated, uh, less issues, less things to go wrong on the technical aspect of it. So let's get this thing opened and have a look at it and see what's inside. So getting the kit all opened up here, as I said, it comes in this really nice blow molded case, four channels to be able to work with, and a nice standalone handheld wireless receiver. This thing's gonna be using each of these individual four channel transmitters, which are double, or I mean triple A battery powered for these. And the really cool thing with this kit is when it comes in, this whole section here, is full of all the triple and double A batteries that this system is gonna use. So you don't have to go out and purchase 30 or $40 worth of batteries right off the bat. I've used this kit about three or four times now and the battery life is still at full charge from what the indicator says. So it's working absolutely fantastic. Now the difference between this one and the Bluetooth kit is these are gonna be the wireless transmitters. They've got the transmitter right here, which is gonna have a clip that you can either clip something onto if you're using it on an interior panel. And then it's got the insert for your uh, clamp transmitter right here. And what actually plugs into that are gonna be these clamps right here. They're gonna be able to clamp onto any portion or any service you're looking to listen to and that little section right here, just a standard little AV plug. Uh, that one is gonna plug right into your receiver end right here. So there's a couple more things in the system to be able to get caught rather compared to the Bluetooth system, but it does come up with a bunch of different ways to be able to tie these things up where you need to. It comes up with about 10 of these little Velcro strips that you guys are able to put through the little area right here in the transmitter assembly zip and you can put it to any section there or comes with a whole big old bundle of zip ties if you guys are going to need it to sit a little more secure in something that may be moving on you. 
Now I've already kind of figured out the downfall to this is that, you know, there is a lot of extra wire and if you guys don't tie this up really great, it's going to have an issue and get caught. So as you can see here, I've got four channels there and three clamps. Well, that's because I got one got caught on something on the road and kind of ripped it off. So first week of use, uh, we've got one down, but that's all right because you can buy these things separately on them, their own. Now getting to the actual transmitter here, really nice handheld individual box. You're not going to have apps to update, Bluetooth connection. As soon as you guys turn these things on, which is simple as, you know, flipping the little switch right there, they're putting out the wireless signal. All you have to do is turn this thing to the on position and you have your signal, which is going to be pulsing of whatever is on the uh, pickup portion. So you can see what's making noise and then you're able to select between all of your channels. And as you see here, it's got six different channels right here to be able to choose from. So you are able to add on more receivers and have them in the kit if you wanted to have more than four. Now, if, why you would want to have more than four, not really sure. Four is usually plenty enough for testing the different areas that you think the noise or vibration might be coming from. Volume is adjustable. It gets quite loud from the speaker here, which I personally don't like to use. When I'm going on a test drive, I like to use the headphone jack because that is able to get me zoned into what I'm listening to and not hearing the ambient noises throughout the inside of the vehicle you know, kind of clouding what I'm actually listening to. Like I said, this thing is wireless receiver. It does take six of the AA batteries go into the back right here. And the kit does come with those. So also super nice as well. Now we're going to go get this thing hooked up on a vehicle. We've got a Jeep Wrangler that we've got kind of a weird whining vibration to, uh, just to get, give you guys an idea of what this thing is able to figure out. So let's go check that out. So here in the shop, we've got this pretty awesome 2017 JK Jeep Wrangler. As you can see, it is lifted three and a half inches, sitting on 35s, been pretty modified, got some light bars, some different bumpers, winch, all kinds of things to make a whole lot of extra noise. Power boards on top of that. So the noise that this thing is making, if you were to take a glass of water and wet your finger and rub it around the rim all you hear is this really high pitched frequency vibrating throughout the vehicle now it's very odd because it only happens between like 9 and 14 miles an hour and then again at 32 to 39 miles an hour after that you don't hear the noise at all so something that's complex and everything we use the serometer and based on the frequency it's going to be rolling at our 35 inch tire frequency. So it's gonna be going with that pitch, which is, you know, kind of odd. So we're gonna be looking into clamping this onto a couple of different areas, see if we can find where that high pitch frequency is coming from. So we've got a couple of our clamps hooked up here. First one, because we've got drive line, a little vibration, we've got it hooked up right here to our uh, pinion area of the front differential and put onto the diff there and then our second one because you know these things have aftermarket bumpers and they vibrate quite a lot we've got a second one tied onto the front bumper and then our third one get around the lift here is going to be up on our a pillar and light bar seeing if we can catch any vibrations up there out of that one because i already know that these things are pretty prone to vibrating as well along with those light bars making weird wind noises i know we're not looking for that but we'll have a look and see what we can find there so let's go out and get this thing going on a test drive and see if we can hear the noise preliminarily before we turn the chassis ear on now we've got the old gopro action camera here for some uh, tools in action so we're going to be driving this thing down a nice even road see if we can get you guys to hear the noise that we are talking about so there we were hearing that one at about 18 mile you know 12 miles an hour now we're gonna pick up speed a little bit and here when it comes back in.
We hear some wind noise. There it is. About 33 miles an hour. So we hear our noise and I'm not sure where it's coming from. This thing is just resonating literally all over the Jeep. Can't really tell. So now we've got our nice Steelman Pro set here and we're gonna get this thing turned on and see if we can pinpoint where this noise is coming from. Now, like I said, normally I really would like to use the headphones because I'm able to isolate out all of the extra noises that are happening in the vehicle. If I'm hearing the noises, you know, through a speaker and through the actual vehicle, it's kind of hard to point them out. But for YouTube purposes, we're going to be using, it's just the speaker that's going to be putting out right here on the Steelman receiver. So we've got our channel one. This is the one down on our pinion. See if we can get a noise out of that one. Not really getting much noise out of that one. Hear it on the vehicle, but not there. Let's go over to our second channel. A little bit there. Not much. Then our third channel. Back and forth a little bit, trying to get the vehicle to do it. Not much. We're picking up our wind noise that it has definitely through the speaker. But I think that's where we're getting a lot of our noise from. Let's turn it around and see if we can get it to do it a little bit better on the vehicle. There it is. Like I said, it's really hard to pick it up on the actual speaker, guys, because you know, you're not really getting it isolated from the other sounds in the vehicle, but you guys are able to hear the different sounds and everything. The number one channel, we're hearing a lot of what we've got to clamp to that pinion. So we're not really hearing a whole lot on that one other than just bearing noise and then channel two we've got a lot of just vibration because that one's out on the front bumper but then channel three that one is picking it up pretty nicely through the speaker so our issue is actually out here this light bar and a pillar is vibrating at the same frequency of our tires you know we're hearing the whistling the wind noise but you know what that's normal people who own jeeps really already understand that one but what we're trying to get rid of is that high pitch noise is going to be there in the a pillar and in the actual light bar also so We've got a couple of little things that we, uh, we're going to be able to try through our upfitters, but at least with this tool, we were able to pinpoint and find our actual issues. So what comes all in the kit, as you guys saw, it comes with the four different channels of receivers, comes with the dedicated wireless receiver, your instruction manual, which who's going to ever look at that again, but there it is, comes with not three, but four of the uh, mic clamps in a nice little vinyl bag. Comes with about 10 of these Velcro little attachment things so you can attach these. Or zip ties for zip tying up those or the wiring for it. Comes with a couple of really fancy little notepads here so you 
if you don't exactly remember where you put them, you can identify where you put everything and put that onto the dash so you remember. It also comes with a cheaper set of in-ear headphones. I personally use another set for myself and anybody else in the shop who's using this, they can you know, share the earwax between these ones. I like the ones that actually have the little rubber inside to them so they seal really well in my ear. Kind of drowns out all of the other noises that are reverberating around inside the vehicle. Makes it really nice. Now you can pick this kit up just about anywhere, including Amazon. It's gonna run you right around 265 bucks. I will be sure to put a link to this one down in the description below. If you're comparing this one to the one that I did on the Nifty Tools, the Bluetooth one, that one's gonna run you about 370 bucks, so about $110 more for one that you have to mess around with a whole lot more apps and Bluetooth connectivity and other issues along that point. This one, tried and true, wireless, dedicated system that's gonna connect to itself, nothing else. The only other things that you really want to watch out for is if you have cell phones or radio signal in the car, you wanna make sure that you have those turned off or put aside because just like if you hold your cell phone up to a speaker on a vehicle, it's gonna throw some interference. So you make sure you wanna turn that one off or keep it away from the unit. Uh, other than that, zip tie these things up a little bit better than I did in the first round and you won't end up losing those. You, like I said, you can get these separate as well. They're, I think they're about 14 or 15 bucks for each one of those clamps to purchase separately. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review and got some information out of it. If this is something that you guys are looking for in the chassis ear world, Steelman is pretty much the dedicated supplier to those. There's not really a whole lot of other manufacturers out there. And as for ones that are just tried true, work and have a whole lot less issues, this is gonna be the kit that you guys are really gonna want to look into. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. I appreciate it. As always, you guys stay awesome.